Does Pep Guardiola's Man City beating Thomas Tuchel's Chelsea for the very first time change the face of the title race? Jelani, we're going to go to you first. Yeah, you know, this is another match that will definitely come down and mean a lot towards the title contention and title race for sure. I think many people, you know, you see it coming down to teams like Liverpool, Man City, Chelsea, the usual suspects. So Pep getting a win here, I think it not only boosts the confidence of his club, but I think it boosts his own confidence here, you know, in terms of beating Tuchel here and getting a good win. And you know what? That's what, four wins in the first six, you know, including a draw. So City's off to a good start. Uh, we'll say that. And, you know, down the line, we'll see how it plays out. So I think this is a great win for them, for sure. And Michael? Yeah, I, I think it really cements, honestly, what I was thinking in terms of this Premier League season and that there, there's a lot of parity now at the top of the table. And I think if we look at the actual table itself, one point separates first through six, I believe, which is pretty bizarre right now if, when you're six games into the season already. And I think the race just becomes tighter after a result like that. So I don't know if it changes it, but it does make it more entertaining if you're a casual fan rooting for, I guess, a good, good, good tight race this season. Yeah, no, I absolutely agree with both of you. I think it just opens up the title race and it definitely makes everything so much more interesting. Like no one ever, no one ever said City wasn't a contender. We always knew it, but this is just like, it just makes everything so much more exciting and way closer in the running. Yeah, exactly. All right, guys. So big result for Arsenal over the weekend. What does this North London Derby result mean for for both managers, I guess? Sarah, let's start with you there. Well, I just want to say last week, guys, that I told you Arsenal needed this win and they came out not only winning, but like destroying Tottenham. I think Arteta and his team needed this more because they were just in the bottom of the title, like the entire league, they were doing so poorly. So at least like, this kind of sparks the question, is Arsenal back? Not in a sense that they're gonna win it. I don't think anyone thinks they are, but they have a lot of potential and they're showing it. So I think it's really exciting. And honestly for Tottenham, it really shows the holes they have in this team. And it's just more and more opening up. And I'm really like over the games I'm watching with them, I'm losing more and more faith in Nuno, unfortunately. Yeah, that's three losses in a row for Tottenham, three wins in a row for Arsenal. Jelani, what are your thoughts? Yeah, you know, Tottenham, they weren't aggressive at all. I think that their hearts just sank before halftime. Um, they continue to drop down the table. And as each match goes on, you know, they continue to show more holes and show more vulnerability, you know, and a lot of, you know, issues. I think just getting to the, it's getting to the tipping point because, you know, fans are getting to Nuno and, you know, even the post game interview, I think it had to be, I think it had to be like removed or, or was pulled because of, you know, the reaction from Spurs fans. So it's getting uh, ridiculous now, you know, the, the amount that they're dropping down the table and things of that nature. But, you know, you're looking at Arsenal and man, they played with a lot of heart. I think this is great for Arteta, just seeing his guys go out there and, you know, play the way they needed to play. Great game plan set up by Arteta. And I think that those, you know, murmurs and rumors about Arteta leaving and Arteta not being the guy, they have been, you know, silenced because of how they've come out and performed. So, yeah, this was huge for Arsenal and they came out to win that game. They absolutely did. And I think, for, in my opinion, like Tottenham, Tottenham really struggled that match. Like they were dreadful. They, If I'm not mistaken, in the first half, I feel like they didn't connect more than like seven passes in a row. It felt like everything was just kick and run for them. And as you guys correctly pointed out, it just looked a little bit dysfunctional. And I feel like the script has flipped a little bit here where now people are questioning Nuno and Arteta gets a little bit of a smooth sailing um i don't know some enjoyment from the support from the arsenal fans and i think if he continues like this why not why not and honestly if i was on paper i'd probably be picking tottenham over arsenal just based on the caliber of players they have on paper i might be crazy for saying that but to see that result play out the way it did i mean question marks have to be asked about nuno yeah you know that was an interesting matchup but now we move to Man United, myself and Michael, big fans. <laughs> uh, but after two losses, 
this week is Solshar walking a tightrope right now at Man U. Let's start with Sarah, who wants to get at us. She's been talking. I'm about waiting this. for this with the two Man United fans. Yeah, I'm always stuck in between. I am living for this only because I feel like you guys know, the world knows, United is not lacking any talent. But I never thought that Solskjaer was the man who could connect everyone, bring these guys together, and win the title. And I think it's just showing with these losses, especially, you know, over the weekend, losing to Villa base and like that with the penalty situation. Like, there were so many things that it was like, I'm so surprised with like his decisions and I just think it's showing and I like I, I'm not a United fan but if I was I would definitely be pointing my finger at him because you know you have the talent on the pitch and you got Ronaldo back so I I think if it continues more than you know a few more games I really think you could see him getting sacked and Michael yeah, I, I don't think we're there yet, in my opinion. Um, you know, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, he's shown that he really grows as the season goes on. Um, that being said, I mean, yeah, it, it's disappointing to lose games in the fashion that they've been losing them. But there is still some holes on this on this Manchester United roster, and I think specifically in the, in the central midfield position. And I think that's where we're seeing a lot of disconnect right now for, for United. And I think if there's one piece you go out there and get, it is essentially a central defender to kind of boost this roster. That being said, results have to come. As Sarah correctly pointed out, like this is a, a team that has high expectations. Um, and when you're, you're being knocked out of a cup and you're dropping points to Ashton Villa in the league, question marks again will be asked and, and if, if this continues they'll be asked even louder so i don't think we're there yet but we'll see we'll see we could get there yeah man i just i don't know you know you got a team with pogba ronaldo coming back fernandez all these big names you know you should be in prime position to win matches against teams like villa and put up performances that we've you know that we want to see against teams like Villa, West Ham. Um, you know, even Young Boys. You talking about that match? You know how that unfolded. So, yeah, I, I won't say that we're talking about Solskjaer being sacked right now. But honestly, it's becoming another 50-50 thing with the fans. You know, does he go? Does he stay? Is he the guy? I was always unsure. You know, is he consistent as a manager? I haven't really been sold on that. I do like him, but. I just I haven't been sold on how consistent he can really be for Man United. But yeah, man, it's, it's been tough. It's been tough sliding lately. But I do see light at the end of the tunnel. We have the talent. We just need to bring everything back into focus. But, you know, Michael, you mentioned that we do need some help in terms of center mid, sorry, center um, backfield. So, you know, we were also talking about um, some Englishmen uh, looking at Rice, looking at Phillips possible you know rumors circulating right now uh for man united but yeah we'll see how it goes down the line times are tough man but it'll turn around it'll turn around we'll see <laughs>